Blackout650 Gaming here, and welcome to another game from Twitch Prime called Orwell. So I know absolutely nothing about this game except for the little screenshots that Twitch showed look kind of neat. So, welcome. You have been accepted into Orwell. Please create a profile. All right. Empty profile. Sounds good. Congratulations. You have been selected for the Orwell. Or the, that thing it says. Please create a profile. All right. I have. Whoa. All right. Got this guy. This chick. This chick. This guy. Guy, this chick, this guy, this chick, this guy, this chick, this guy. That's it. I don't know. I guess this guy, sure. Enter my name. That's me. That'll work. Next. What? Enter you for a Uh. Well, that's optional, so let's go ahead and not do that. Please agree to the following terms. I am aware that my actions may have several cons. That says several, right? Yeah, several impacts. Mm, okay, I am aware that my actions may have several impacts to the lives. Fuck, I can't read shit. I am aware that my actions may severely impact the lives of citizens of the nation. I will work thoroughly and judge objectively in the best of my belief. While working, I will adhere to the laws and jurisdictions of the nation. I agree. So I'm... Wait, who... Who did, who wrote, uh, 1982? Is that Orwell? Hey Google, who wrote the book 1982? Was it Ethan? Yuri Gomeshi wrote 1982. I might be thinking of the wrong book. Hey Google, what was the book about Big Brother? 1984. Fuck. According to Wikipedia, Big Brother is a fictional character and symbol in George Orwell's novel 1984. Aha. He is ostensibly the leader of Oceania, a totalitarian state wherein the ruling party, Ingsoc, wields total power for its own sake over the inhabitants. To read more, look for the link in your Google Home app. Well, there you go. So I'm guessing this has to do with Big Brother. Oh, um, hey Google? Stop. Sounds good. Cancel. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just randomly start speaking German sometimes. Oh, well, this is Freedom Plaza, and it's 2017. <gasps> A relationship. That's not allowed, if I remember correctly. Ah, uh, uh, Jesus. Told you so. Okay, then. Episode 1, the clocks were striking 13. Wow. You're online. Good. That's me, online. Call me Sims. Sims? Sims. Wait. Wasn't that a character in 1984? I don't know. I'll be your advisor on Orwell. Together we will form both the first and the last line of defense against terrorism. For this test phase, you are one of the first people to try out the Orwell system under real circumstances, selected from thousands of applicants from across the globe. Normally, congratulations would be in order, but as you can see from that footage, there has been an incident. So let's get started. All right. I've acted a ra ad mm, reader tool for me. Its purpose is storing bookmarks to online websites and documents for easy access and to highlight when there is new information to be investigated. First, I want you to be informed of the situation. Our leading newspaper, The National Beholder, Ooh, we'll bring you up to speed. All right, then click. Headlines, click. Bob obliterates Freedom Memorial and kills three. All right, feel free to browse the National Beholder. I've activated the profiler. Open the unknown person file once you're done. Okay. Uh, in Bonton, explosion destroys the Freedom Memorial in Bonton. Three people killed, five severely injured. Authorities receive strange letter. Negotiations in Shrifleth failed. Drifleth, Pargesian, Pergesian, President, I don't know, Pergesian, Par Parmesan President, aborts negotiations with the opposition, violent riots in Trifleth. Um, um, okay, that, okay, Blaine encourages renewal, Blaine the train, it's a hell of a pain, uh, movie shooting completed, huh, a hundred gray shadows, Valentine's Day 2018. Uh, shooting of Grey Shadow Saga lasting four years finalized. Third part of the saga to hit movie theaters next Valentine's Day. Oh, there she go. I can read more about these things. Here we go. 
at approximately 7.50 p.m. All right. On Wednesday evening, I expected that to be in a uh, 24-hour notation. Um, an explosive device detonated at the Freedom Plaza in Bantan. According to official police reports, three people were killed and at least five bystanders were severely wounded. The Freedom Memorial Hut was nearly completely destroyed. Um, police forces closed off the area immediately. Experts believe the attack was attacked. The attack was an act of terror, with police confirming that the explosive device was homemade and triggered from a short distance away using a cell phone signal. Police reports are also conform conform confirm that several hours earlier, an anonymous letter containing the first three stanzas of the German folk song Die Gedenken sind frei, the thoughts are free, um, had reached local authorities. Prime Minister Blaine immediately issued a public press statement firmly condemning the assault and put the nation on high alert until the perpetrators have been brought to justice. All right, and then I'm feeling like I messed up a lot of words there. All right, we got unknown person. All right. <sighs> That's talking. The profiler holds all known information on those we investigate. The file you have opened is for our main suspect. The blue-haired woman that the CCTV footage shows before the assault is no stranger to the police. Take a look at the arrest record. Is that under this one? Nope. Is that under this one? Nope. Is it somewhere completely obvious and I'm just daft? Background, probably. Nope. Uh... Am I missing something? Uh, well, we've got all these cool options. Probably not. Oh, it isn't full screen. What do you know? I can even go to the side. All right. Good to know. Um, oh, no. Unknown person. All right. Physique. Um, activity. Activities. Don't need room for activities. No. I'm sure this is blatantly obvious, but I can't figure it out. Wait, no, okay. Um, active, new objective, adapt all data from the police record. How do I do that? Can I close out of all of this and start over? Do I need to close the, ah, there we go. The highlighted elements in the record are pieces of data that are able to be extracted. We call these elements data chunks. Mmm, tasty data chunks. Hovering over data chunks will reveal their relevance to the case and any connections or information may influence. Drag and drop all data chunks from the police database into a profile to upload them to our servers. Okay, okay. Uh, Watergate Cassandra. Uh, arrest date of July 10th, 2016. Charge, assault on a police officer, arresting officer Lloyd Duncan, holding facility Bond Hon, Central Police Department. Report. Suspect was arrested on site after Officer Franklin had been struck by an unknown object and became unresponsive. The protesters at the origin of the assault were forcibly moved, where the suspect was found kneeling and weeping on the ground. When asked to lay on the ground with her hands behind her back, the suspect cooperated immediately. Well, that's... Okay. Wait. Uh, which thing are data chunks? I don't remember. That. Oh, I get it. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Um, was that... Is that it? I feel like there was... Oh, picture. Okay. Cool. Very good. Pictures and names are crucial information for Orwell to identify a person. Information and documents can only become a data chunk when it can clearly be assigned to a target person. Add the reason for Miss Watergate's prior arrest that has been ju has just been unlocked. We will need this info for to for it to be the progressing. There you go. So it's under background, which I suspected it would be. Good. With the data you extract from the police record, a new document can now be accessed. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you believe in coincidence? I do not. Find data revealing where she attacked the police officer and you will see what I mean. Ooh. Um, it doesn't say where she was, though. 
Hmm. Uh, didn't say I unlocked something new. Let me see. Thank you, Clock, for being as loud as you possibly could be. All right. All right, let's see. Franklin had been struck by an unknown object and became one of protesters. The origin of the assault forcibly moved. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Could it perhaps be uh, riots in Trifteth? Probably not. All right. That'd be a no, then. Good to know. Wait. Hold on. Something popped up for a second that I could click on. I thought. Unless it was just nothingness. Should I be looking here? There's blue there. Hmm. Uh, is there anything in here? No. Wait, again. I swear, something just pops up real quick. Oh, oh, home. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, hey, look. Is this woman a terrorist? A woman allegedly injured a police officer two weeks ago remains in custody trials scheduled for August. Uh huh. The incident occurred during a rampage at the Freedom Plaza as part of demonstration. Alrighty then, is that under background as well, or... Okay. The exact same location as the assault. Uh, I wouldn't say assault, but alright. Then she turns up there... Oh, never mind. Alright, uh, right before the explosion. Surely not a coincidence. I mean, I don't know how big this place is, so... As you know, Miss Watergate is still running around freely. We should find out why. We should also gather more background information on her. I want to know who we're really dealing with. Okay. Let's see if there's... Uh, uh, Cassandra W. Watergate, um, who is an artist by profession. So there's occupation. Oh yes, one who does street art by blowing memorials to by to bit. Mm. Mm. Great, you have found another document. Before we go on, let's clarify your job and how it affects mine, shall we? You have extracted all the info I already knew about Miss Watergate. Starting now, I'm going into this case blind. The Orwell Ethical Codex dictates that investigators, like yourself, are the only ones allowed to access the documents of target persons. Advisors like me only get to see the data provided by the investigators. We will then draw conclusions and request action. Your primary job is to provide information you deem important. Never give away incorrect or misleading data. You may hit disable on a data chunk you do not want to pass on to Orwell. However, some data chunks might be necessary to progress the case. Ooh. All right, so... Okay, back to here, port.folio, Cassandra Watergate, colorful inhabitant of Waterland right behind the rainbow, Wonderland, hmm, does she actually live in Wonderland? Um, uh, ooh, alright, so we got a uh, an alias here. Good, you found a chat handle. This will allow us to overhear any conversations out of that account. The listener now has been unlocked. New conversations will appear whenever they are started. All right. Um, Cassie. All right. A colorful inhabitant of Wonderland right behind the rainbow. So that, I'm thinking, is probably irrelevant. Quit my dull day job focusing on my art career. Not helpful. We already know she works in art. Previous career is not mentioned, so... Um... The businessman's forgotten daughter. That beat, that beat is me. I was never sure about the title, though. The businessman's forgotten daughter or victim of traditionalism in pink. Hmm. I don't know if that's of any use. Businessman's forgotten daughter. Father was a businessman. Christmas present for me. Blah, 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 blah. Um... In a relationship, that might be of some interest. See? 
All right. Um, let's see. Physique, not useful. Background. I don't know if that'd be under background or not. Personality, maybe. Activities, not really. Aliases, well, I thought, but, oh, okay. Hmm. Let's try it, let's see. Daughter of Entrepreneurial Hours. Uh -huh. Is there anything in here? Nope, okay. Well, that's all I got from there. Unless this is of some use. I feel like it really isn't, though. This definitely isn't. It doesn't give an actual location. Alright, sure, let's try that. Hmm, interesting. We should find out what that job was. Well, you know, that's why I didn't add it. <sighs> Let me adjust my sitting position. Alright. Ah! <gasps> Unknown person. Unknown person. Hey, you. Hey, Jose. Or Josie, I don't know. I can't seem to find my credit card. I assume you took it, right? Uh, you got me Sherlock. I'm in the middle of buying all of Boston with that platinum card I lifted from your desk. Hmm. Can't stop me now. I don't know if that's of much use. Like for you, I don't mind. You blah 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 blah. Pick up some wine for dinner. Alright, so this is probably significant other. Joseph Langley, my fearless attorney and all around badass, have in mind this time. I don't think that's something you should just type out like that. It's kind of weird. You know, if a profile for a related person can be accessed via the profiler. Data chunks will only appear for targeted persons and can only be extracted into their relevant profiles. Okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Pick up shitloads of line. Get lots of lines, apparently. Uh, one bottle should be fine. Blah, blah, blah. Type faster. Uh, big Farmer, a.k.a. my parents, and ooh, that's relevant. Watergate Pharma Entrepreneurs, that does ring a bell. No, it doesn't, but okay. Uh, blah, 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 gotta go, all right. Session closed. All right, so let's go back up through here. Platinum card. The only thing I can see really relevant to that is the platinum card. Um, you know, showing probably wealth, but hard to say for sure. All right, um, procedure closing raises mul manipulation suspicions. Blah, 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 Ooh, hello. Orwell informs me you just encountered conflicted data chunks. Whenever the content of two data chunks are at odds with one another, those will be shown as conflicted. When you extract one of the data chunks containing a conflict, the others will, others will become invalid immediately. I'd highly recommend that you clarify the context of the conflict before you proceed, though this is your decision. Once the information has been parsed, there is no way to reverse your choice. Oof. Okay, so this is going to get tough. Um, Cassandra was acquitted of alleged assault against a police officer before the trial took place, with the case being closed due to lack of evidence. So... I don't think that really... Well, let's we'll see. Conflict with another data chunk. Procedure closing raises... Uh, what's the conflict? Huh? Uh, okay, okay. okay. So is it case that has been at the center of media attention for the last month has finally come to an end. Cassandra W. was acquitted of the alleged assault against a police officer before the trial took place. With the case being closed due to lack of evidence yesterday, however, the case might be reopened should new evidence be discovered. This is sus suspect's lawyer, Joseph Langley, pictured above. Ooh. Is, that's useful, though, because that means that if I... Can I go back? I need to go back. This person... But... Uh, <laughs> But I want to, but... <sighs> fine. Fine, 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 fine. All right, let's, what are my options? Criminal case closed due to lack of evidence. This is a conflict with another data chunk and procedure closing raises manipulation suspicions. Isn't it the title? The wealthy family of the accused might have influenced the outcome in her favor. Ooh, come back. I don't understand what I'm doing. 
Parents resolve to illegal means to close the target Krishna's criminal case. That seems important. Can I, uh, what do I, I don't know. This seems useful. The other stuff doesn't. Oh, now this is a severe accusation. Based on this, we could take action against her parents if we had their names. All right, so. Oh, okay, I think I understand. I think I am supposed to, like, pick between the two. This is still a really important picture, because we don't have a picture on this guy, but it's it's that. That is he. But, all right, whatever. Oh, no, shit, we've already been going for 21 minutes. Um, okay, well, let's look at this other thing on products, which will probably hopefully give us the uh, names. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Uh, company. Blah, blah, blah. Hello. Sp okay, well, why can't I... Oh. oh, hey. It's that person. Uh, Alice and Bruno's daughter. Well, alright, you know. Here she go, bad. Ah, now I see. Keeping it a family affair. Uh, now that now we know her parents, we can begin investigating the corruption allegations. Good work. Go me. I don't think this is of any use, because I assume that the blue hair is probably more recent. I feel like the rest of that should be of some use. Pictures, names of the others. Okay, well, I think that's where I'm going to end this video. This is a very interesting game. I'm not sure what I was expecting, but this wasn't really it. I'm probably going to come back to this, though. Of course, this video will be coming up on Monday, the day on which I start my job. But hey, who knows? Maybe it'll go really well, or something. But regardless of whatever, that is going to do it for this video. Like I said, I really like this game so far. Um... I don't want to say I recommend picking it up yet, because I've just begun. It definitely seems... It's very similar to the hacking game I played. I don't remember the name of it. Was it Hacknet? Something like that. The hacking game that I ran all the way through the game and it's on the channel. Yeah, it reminds me of that a lot. I don't know why. I guess just the way it's set up and having to, you know, click on things and, like, actually figure stuff out. But anyway, it's very interesting. I'm definitely going to play this more. I don't know if I'll do videos on it but I will definitely keep playing it. But, like I said, probably multiple times, that is going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and leave a like. Uh, if you've got anything you want to tell me or whatever, put it in the comments below. If you didn't enjoy this video, don't leave a like, and I'll see you in the next video.